Okay, so good evening everybody. You welcome to today's end of market review brought to you by Trading Group. As well as Trading Group is an international award-winning broker with seven years experience. It recently won the best broker of the year at the Forex Trader Summit in Dubai 2024 and the best retailer at the just concluded Forex Expo financial magnet in South Africa. So they offer lots of interesting services. They offer, for those who want to learn, they offer training, physical training at our number two, Allen Avenue, doing Allen Avenue roundabout. We also offer online training for advanced traders every Wednesday between 8.30 to 9.30 via Zoom. And we also offer trade reviews and trade outlooks in our various online platforms. Telegram and WhatsApp. And for those who would like to learn, who would like to learn, but don't want to actually learn or partake in it themselves, we have the farm and the copy tree. So with that out of the way, let's get down to what we have for. So going into tomorrow, which is Wednesday, 27th of May, we have um, official cash week as New Zealand I'll be doing on by 3 a.m. Then we have found CPI at 7 a.m. Then we have FOMC. Well, this might be interesting, but it's not the same thing as the FOMC. So let's just have that at the back of our mind. So as always, we're going to start off with the US 100, the dollar index, Euro USD, GBP USD, gold, Euro pound, pound, yen, and Euro yen. So, Let's start off with the US 100. Looking at the US 100, like I said, within the day, this is still bullish. This is clearly still bullish. And if you notice, price deep into this fair value gap and it continues to be upset. So since we have a break above here, what you'll be waiting, what you'll be looking at tomorrow, all things being equal, is from this low to this high. And then you watch the projection. These are possible areas price may run. If price drops in here, most likely, this you can notice this is the fifty percent of this open range has a bear value gap. So price are most likely dropping here, continue to be upside tomorrow. So US one hundred still bullish going into tomorrow. The dollar index, the dollar index has a kind of like a bearish bias, but it's been ranging. It's been slightly ranging. If you look at it on the daily, it doesn't have crystal clear so like it weeks on the upside within this daily pair value gap. If we go to the four hour time frame, go to the four hour time frame, we have price within this down candle, down close candle. You see, it didn't close below the group. Which points the fact that there's a possibility we might see price spike one four four seven nine. Because this is just in a consolidation. Just in a consolidation, but with buyers tilted to the downside. Probably if price gets very, very animated, I see it coming to destruction before continuing to downside. But if you're looking at it on the four hour, we don't have a new hat, so most likely this might be downside. Next, we are going to be looking at is Euro USD. If we have the bearish pound dollar index, we are going to have a bullish interest. So, looking at the Euro USD, that's on the daily point of view, we have the daily candle is closing. And the Doji indecision candle is still indecision candle. So, that means that basically they are trying to make up their mind. I believe they are waiting for the meeting tomorrow. To finally make up your mind. And you can see this is just basically in a range. The possibility exists that this may sweep this way and come to this point here. My sweep this one will be 35. And so we'll be looking at probably something sweeping this way, like this, coming in here, then something like this for continuing to do. That's what we might be looking at tomorrow on. Dollar, Euro, USD. So the 
next we are going to be looking at is the GBPUSD. GBPUSD has a slightly more bullish stance than the Euro USD. But where it is now, if you look at it from the daily, is below this weekly fair value gap. Let's go to the weekly time frame so that it becomes clear for everybody. This weekly fair value gap here. So go to the daily, it's at this structure point here. So the possibility exists that this pair, you'll be waiting for a down move on this pair. Probably we already have it here. We have this unfully mitigated fair value gap. So you're waiting for price to come into this range and continue to the upside. That's what we'll be looking for on the GBPUSD. Next, we are going to be looking at the gold. Gold is still tilted to the upside. I think I gave a signal, a trade signal today. I think I gave two trade signals today, one major. And that was all, it was a 15 minute time frame. It was here. We had the break, trace, and this was the move. So, we can now go. This is still tilted to the upside, but it's in a kind of a consolidation. Let me remove everything. I don't. This handle here, if you notice, price is That's what you need to be aware of. Wow. Is within a range handle of this sort. It has failed to take out the low, close below the low, which means most likely, most likely, we might be seeing price gone for 2433, 2437, then before coming for 24 as it is in a range. So just trade according to this. So if you drop to the one hour time frame, you'll be waiting for price to break to the upside for you to take long positions. So that's what we have on um, who is behaving. So you trade either a break out to the upside or a break to the downside. So let me see what do I mean by that. Let me just briefly show you. If you look at this, we have a swing high here. Break, retrace. We have a swing low here. Price has broken it, retrace, but bear in mind we have a break here. So this may come down and continue to the upside, probably towards this fair value gap. That's what we'll be watching out for tomorrow. You notice price ran into this high at 24.33 before pulling back. So gold is still bullish going into tomorrow. Euro GBP is still bearish. Euro GBP is still bearish. I have a few indications going in. There's a certain load here. Of the, yes, this load. 85 days. If you notice, it has broken out of this way. So if you go down to one hour from 85 51 to this low here, you wait for price to move in here. If it gets rejected, then price is going to be heading for 85 days. The next we're going to be looking at is pound here. This pair, just like I noted, these pairs are still moving to the upside. Still moving to the upside. It has hit the first target objective. So we'll be watching this area here. Drop down to the one hour. It becomes very clear why you're we'll watching for that area. We have this low. We have this high. We have this low. Break out. If you notice, price is already breaking to the downside. This means it's coming into this. So if this point holds, the possibility exists that we might see. Price continues to the upside. Then targeting this point here at 1992. As it for the pound yen. Next, we are going to be looking at the euro yen. Euro yen. You notice due to the euro, euro pound weakness, it is dropped further than euro uh, pound yen. So this bet still bullish. As long as price stays above 160, 160 points, this pair is easily That's what we have going into tomorrow. Any questions? Any questions? Or any, if anybody wants me to briefly look at the call of calling tonight? My question uh, is uh, yeah, the phone. Phone. 
You said that God is still bullish. Yeah. God is still bullish. Yes, God is still bullish. It hasn't made any. It's in a bullish range. Gold is in a bullish range. Like, if you remember what I, what I said, I said, if you watch, it's within the candle. He has not made a new low, he has not made it. But we have a bullish support. So this might just be a consolidation. And if you watch this down close handle, the low price has not been able to close below. We already have one, two, three, four. So this might just be a boom down. Okay, okay. Yeah. So what are you guys are okay, either yeah, but you can okay, hold it in between. No. no, you can. If you drop the 15 minutes, let's look at this. This was where I gave the first trade idea. And this was what? You can it. what? I gave the first trade idea. If you remember in the group, I gave the first trade idea after price broke it. I said, wait for it to move back. And price did. Yeah. Now, if you look at this area closed, there's another range candle here. This down hand. If you notice, price was within the body. Spike. This high here, price has closed the body. So if you switch, if I put in my indicators, you're going to find out I have a swing high, I have a swing. Price has closed the body. If I pick this low like this, first price at the equilibrium. But this is good. Gold has a tendency to extend lower. And why is this down handle important? This was the last down handle for the focus. The price may try to, and then if you find bullish evidence, price is going to continue to build this 15 minute fair value game and probably try 24 three. That's the good thing about gold. Due to its volatility, you can get trade. Yeah? Hello? Thank you. I'll just look at it. Hello, man. What did you say? It's breaking. It's breaking. Okay, you can watch the recording later. I said it's breaking. Oh. You can't make a complete sentence. Yes. Okay, you watch the recording. Somebody wanted to ask a question. Which other pair would somebody want me to look at? Okay. Yes, I was trying to ask about USD card. Thank you. Okay. USD card. Where is the card? Where is the card? Where is the card? Oh. Where is the card? Where is the card? It's in a down mode. It's in a down mode. This is the info. This is the If I were trading this, I have my range here on the daily. I drop the power time frame. I can say I have another range. I have another range somewhere within this point. I can say. As long as price stays before the low 1.39, 36.9. It's still downside. And if I remove this, I have this bigger deep ring here. So this may still move high, sweep this equal high. Doesn't change the bias, but it's still down. I just try to sweep this, still this imbalance. Because if you look at this on the one hour, the bullish correction is in place. You see, broken above this high. So what you can do, and if you notice, See what I was telling you when they break, pull back. So this may pull back within this high to this low. You wait for it. If it gives you bullish evidence, you run for 1.90. But you know it's a scalp, it's not a trend trade. So you need to be aware of that. Any other question? What we call it tonight? Yeah, I, 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 I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Yes. Okay, I was waiting for the invite. I just started to go to the money loan and check. 
Wait for me to see that it's the next question because I didn't see any invite. Thank you. I told you, chat me. You ask the same question in the morning. I told you, chat me. Did chat me? Did you chat me? So you don't understand what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that there was no invite for this meeting. There was an invite. You didn't see the invite. Everybody here came through an invite. That's why I said, chat me. Chat me. Are we clear? Okay. Yes. Chat me up. So, okay. I wish everybody a beautiful, nice day and the blessed and wonderful trading day ahead. So, thank you all. Okay, good night.